Hello and welcome to Psych Central's Ask the Therapist. I'm Dr. Dan Tomasulo and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Marie Hartwell Walker. Dan, uh, this letter uh, raises lots of cross-cultural issues mm. for us, and this is one of the struggles we have as, as the therapists. Right. therapists. Right. Uh, this is from Pakistan. Right. A young man writes to say that he and his girlfriend have been together for three and a half years. Uh -huh. They've never had a fight. They were absolutely in love with each other. Right. A few weeks ago, ago he got a call mm -hmm. from an unknown male mm -hmm. saying that he was now engaged to the girlfriend. Mm -hmm and wow. that he is not to make any contact with her right. <clears throat> and she has made no contact with him right he's totally in the dark and at the end there's this plea i don't know what's happening can you please help me hmm. right so here we are with um a, a not unusual problem in american terms right yeah but needing to put my at least my thinking into what does this mean in culturally a, culturally yeah. in pakistan sure um so my first inclination is again trying to be sensitive to possible issues in pakistan is right. was uh, did this girl's parents have some agenda of their own about who mm. she should marry yes has she been, in fact, maybe even promised to someone else? Right. And then she was, and other letters we've received have reflected mm -hmm. this, where she was trying to follow her heart, and then there mm -hmm. were other mm -hmm. issues at play. Right. In which case, I would be wondering if there was a way, for example, if I have any inkling of this, can his parents call her parents and find out? Mm -hmm. well, I don't know what the chain of a proper social networking right. is sure or whether he could call her parents or her best friend and say can you just tell me what's happening right. is she really done with me or is there something else because that would make a difference in terms of maybe his he's still going to be left right but it might make a difference in terms of how he's responding sure i i guess i have a um uh you know while i appreciate the cultural issue there's a core human sense of being betrayed here. Of course. He, he's, he's, somehow he's been betrayed in this dynamic. So, you know, the first thing I would say is just because somebody says don't contact her, contact her. Yes. You, you know, like, like, like not the parents, not the thing. He's uh, in his mid-20s. Uh, try to contact her. Try to figure out, you know, what, mm -hmm. where she's at. Now, if the other elements there, if it's an arranged relationship and, and whatever, then he's going to have to deal with that. But I, I don't think I would try to bring all the families in on this because this wasn't a family deal. Mm -hmm. He doesn't mention anything about that. And I would try to deal with that. And then if it turns out that this guy's call is legitimate and that, uh, you know, this was n not, nothing that he was responsible for or could d do, then the work is on healing mm -hmm. that. Um, but I would try to be more direct with the betrayal. She's betrayed him. And, and it, it, you know, I would start there because that's where the core emotion is. Um, so we might have a little bit different approach, but I, I think we both have the well, sense it, that following it Well, it speaks to the, the conundrum of trying to understand mm. a problem from another culture's point of view when right. neither of us have lived in Pakistan, neither right. of us have training in Pakistani culture, yep. and yet here's someone reaching to an American website right. for, for their pain, for right. their pain right. and right. how to respond to that. And I, I guess the best we can do is raise these kinds of issues and say, does this fit? Does this fit? Does, mm -hmm. this, does this sound like it might have relevance to you? And then leave it, of course, to him to um, think about and decide how he's going to go forward. Mm -hmm.